Okay, today I'm just pulling an oracle card for us from the Sacred Vision Oracle cards. All right, so the card that we got is, hopefully you can see that, number 20, Intent, Game of Thrones, representative of the North as well as the color white. Hear the herds of buffalo thundering in the distance as they run, carving the path for the buffalo to come. Like them, you are an echo of the, ones that, of the ones who walked before you, and you will one day be gone from this place. What will be your legacy? In the mystery, you begin to feel the glory of existence for the great white buffalo and the prairie dog alike. Both are powerful in their own ways. You begin to sing your song line, a harmony of feeling and experiences that create your own unique story. If you have outgrown your stories, change them and make them better. Trust that inspiration will come to you. Imagine your perfected self. Seek the strength of your intent and your ability to love and forgive yourself. When evening comes, give thanks for the awareness that you have found. Be reborn into a new sense of well-being and perfection. Sing the new song that comes from your heart. Listen to the echo of your voice in the canyons as, they sound, as the sound plays with the air. The eagles screech on high. You are the food of echoes. It is law, and it has always been that way. Holy hell, I love that message. I'm actually going to read from the book what, what it's trying to um, give us as well. So let me just find real, real quick. Okay, that was actually real quick. Because there's like hidden message. There's hidden, hidden messages in these cards. Okay, so I'll just go to the spirit of the card. All of us proudly claim our heritage and the noble deeds of our ancestors. Yet, to paraphrase the famed Helen Keller, every family tree has a king, a queen, and a slave. We are all descendants who will one day become ancestors. Live well so that your descendants will be proud and inspired by you, their noble predecessor. From your heart, from your spirit, take your personal power as the great white buffalo standing high. Observe him as he sees his smaller friend, the prairie dog, from the corner of his eye. He knows well that though he is bigger, they each leave their sacred mark on the earth in the eyes of the creator. They are equals. They honor each other. I love that. Like, I just have to say that again, right? Okay. He knows well that though he is bigger, they each leave their sacred mark on the earth in the eyes of creator. They are equals. They honor each other. And I feel like it's just, it's a really nice card to understand, like, when you've been through a lot of different things and you feel like things are the same way that they've always been, or you start to notice synchronicity and patterns that it can be very underwhelming, we'll say, because you notice so many different things. You notice these patterns, you notice these differences in your life, yet you feel like they're familiar all the time, right? You feel like they never change. It's because you're not changing your perspective. And I do that all the time. That's why I like to do the tarot and I like to uh, do do like, you know, just divination in general. Because I like to remind myself that this world's so big and so um, extraordinary. But it's also very small and it's also very like not, not that extraordinary sometimes. So we have to remember to not, not get lost in trying to relive anything or to stay in certain situations. And as it said in the card, if the stories that you're telling yourself don't feel good in your life, like they're not helping you in your life, tell yourself new stories. We're great storytellers throughout time. Human beings have been great storytellers. If that's one thing we know from, you know, any type of cave markings or even hieroglyphs, you know, um, we've been communicating for a long time with one another and you're the biggest communicator with yourself. So when you communicate with yourself, be grateful that you're able to do that, okay? Be grateful that you are able to see the difference in yourself and other people because as it said, like the buffalo notices the prairie dog at the bottom of the card and he knows like, yet this thing is smaller than me, it still is important because it's here on the same planet as I am and it has a purpose. So don't forget that, okay? Even people who maybe make you feel crazy, who make you feel like you don't want to necessarily share a planet with them, you know, um, don't forget they have their purpose and their purpose could just be to help you to learn lessons or to 
help to redirect your storyline, right? So that you can start narrating in a different way. So you can start narrating in a more um, positive way. Because as I said before, I know that when you start to see synchronicities and you start to actually see the pattern of your own existence, it starts to seem like not that great because you're like, well, here's this pattern again. Here's this existing again. What's the point of it? Because it's still, it's not giving me anything progressive or it's not the story that I've been telling myself anyway, yet the story still plays out how it wants to play out. Even if you have an idea of how your story is going to be written, it still goes how the world makes it go. You know, we can want all these things. We can do everything we think we're supposed to do in this life and still be redirected to another direction or to another specific location in life, because that's the point of being alive. To follow what your intuition tells you, you have to follow where you feel you are going to be seeing those um, patterns, seeing those synchronicities and recognizing them so that you can try to change them, so that you can try to work with them when they happen to you, so that you're not super emotional, so that you're not super needy on the material things, so that you're not super uh, disrespected mentally all the time, you know? So when you're able to really uh, see the synchronicities in life, see the patterns in life, yeah, it seems boring. Yeah, it seems like it's like one of those things where it's like, why does this always happen like this? Or how come it's always the same thing over and over and over again? Same chapters. They're not. If you look in there, you'll find some differences. You find some cool lessons that you may have learned as well. Okay. So, um, yeah. Of what I could see of the message, it's really just another reminder for me personally, because listen, let me tell you, I get there sometimes where I'm like, what the hell? You have to be grateful for yourself and you have to be grateful for the things around you, okay? As I said, though some things may feel like they don't get you anywhere or they feel like it was just a waste of your time in life, it wasn't a waste of your time in life and there are lessons in everything. Trust me, I can be a testament to that, like a walking testament to uh, not trying to uh, do things unhealthily to get where you need to get to in your life, okay? So... If I can do it and I can make the necessary changes to rewrite my story, then anybody can, okay? So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you so very much. And be like the white buffalo. Notice the small things in life. Notice the little things and appreciate the little things as I start to swap this little fly away. Um, yeah, I appreciate you so very much. And I know you're going to have the day that you deserve. So thank you.